Thank you for welcoming me onto your screens or onto your headphones, depending on how you're watching this. I'm Eddie, and this is The Rollback. And today, folks, I'll be talking to you about Jurassic World Dominion. The third installment in the Jurassic World series of films, it went from Jurassic Park to Jurassic World. Fucking, I don't know, Jurassic Planet is next, or Jurassic Universe. We're sending a T-Rex to Mars. That's the, that's the next installment. That's the next one. Fucked up part is, you know they might actually go there. After Fast and Furious went into space, you know they might actually go there. That said, uh, so Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, some shit's going down. Um, the reintroduction of dinosaurs into the actual planet is causing havoc in the ozone. Uh, we're having to learn how to coexist with these dinosaurs. Uh, in addition to that, like food sources are becoming scarce. There's a multi-tech sig- synergy? Sig- whatever. They're the bad guys, tech bad guys. They have locusts. They brought back locusts, and they're fucking huge. Uh, every, well, my wife's worst nightmare. Um, they're eating the crop supplies. There's a human clone, the genome. This company's, like, fucking evil. Like, there's, there's a lot of shit going on in this. The tech billionaire, the, the tech bad guy of our time. But nonetheless, we also have the reintroduction of the new crew and the old crew, finally. Uh, we have Dr. Grant, Ellie, and Malcolm. And on the other side, we have Chris Pratt, Dallas, Bryce, Howard, and the clone. I don't remember the new guy's names. That's just how forgettable they are. I haven't seen the OG Jurassic Park in years, and I still remember their names way better than any of these new guys. That said, though, for some they've been acting, it's weird. It feels like it's supposed to be like this huge climax, this huge final moment, this huge event. Yet it doesn't. Somehow they managed to fuck up... Uh, uh, this like weird final like moment. It, it's almost like they didn't plan it from the beginning to this to be a long trilogy and what it was going to include. It's almost like they just made the movies each haphazardly and was like, "What can we add to it now?" I'm I'm not wrong, folks. I'm not. Um, I'll give them props though. Here are a few pros. Uh, one, Locus, a great Bible reference. You know, uh, Malcolm was always saying that dinosaurs will be the cause of our extinction, and yeah, I kind of believe him especially from this film. Um, In addition to that, though, the whole fact, the way that they use dinosaurs, I feel is very accurate to what would happen in the real world, meaning they're being used as, like, uh, soldiers. They're being trained to kill people. They're being used as, you know, illegal property, as pets to some situation. I do believe that, like, fishing boats would have a hard fucking time dealing with the huge, like, great white shark ancestors. I believe all of that. So, I mean, I, I can appreciate that part. Also... Kind of funny that horses were used to wrangle one, but who's to say? Um, so realistic pros. Oh, this story is different at the very least. It's not exactly 100% original, but like, you know, evil company doing evil things, wanting to control the food supply. It's not new. It feels a little out of the realm for Jurassic Park. It, it wasn't centered around dinosaurs. It was centered around, you know, the global food supply and, uh, in, and it's environmental and I appreciate that. Just like it, it's a little odd about how environmental it is. I, I digress. Um, that said, evil tech billionaire genius guy. Yeah, it makes sense. He it, That is the Elon Musk or the Steve Jobs of our time. Evil bad guy, rich, evil, smart bad guy. Jeff Bezos. God, this video might get deponetized. Fuck. Whatever, we're not making money anyway. Who's watching this? Not many of you are. <laughs> Did I just punch down on myself? Fuck it. Look. Here's some more stuff about this that I really like, though. Practical effects. Props to them. They brought back fucking puppets. That was awesome. That was amazing. And I fucking loved it. Please do more of that. Please do more. That was great. Thank you very much. Um, what else? Besides the whole puppets part, um, we had the puppets. We had more practical effects. Oh, I didn't like the final showdown. I appreciate the fact that they know they have to have a final showdown, including the T-Rex in every film. I appreciate that. But also, um, how do I say this? This final fight was kind of lame. Like, they didn't really build up the bad guy enough. The bad Stegosaurus, Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Predator thingy. They didn't build it up too much or enough. Um, it was a cool fight in the first one. I think they fought again in the second one, but the third one kind of sucked. Like, the, I've seen this fight before. Give me something new. Or if anything, make it like a three-way dance. Make it like... T-Rex, that's Stegosaurus, not Stegosaurus, the, the weird alpha predator thing, and then that weird super raptor. Or fuck, make a giant raptor 
and make that the final bad guy like oh fuck these guys were bad before can the t-rex handle it well the t-rex has a mouth that thing has thumbs i don't think so something like that or hell if props i actually thought they had killed the t-rex for a sec there i was impressed um but regardless the story is fine it's just and there's a lot of good action sequences i'll, I'll give it that there's a lot of human though in this film um also there's some human trafficking which gets fucking dark yeah this film's bit all over the place as you can tell um cons one fuck wong i'm sorry fuck dr wong um i don't even remember if that's his name in the film i know he's his name is actual bd wong fuck that guy not the not the person the person i'm sure he's a fine gentleman but the 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 cloning guy the guy who made the locust fuck that guy all right fuck him he did not deserve a redemption arc he deserved to go to jail how many of these films have ended with him fucking around and then he never goes to jail i call bullshit i'm sorry i do bullshit um also some weird boring stretches some weird action sequences this film is just they're, it feels like they're going more in the direction of Fast and the Furious, which, fine. Like, I, I legitimately wouldn't be surprised if they ever did a Jurassic World, Jurassic Furious, or the Fast World. Nah, that's stupid. Fast Dinosaurs. That sounds a little bit better. Um, if they ever did a crossover, I really wouldn't be surprised if Dominic Toretto was like, she's not a clone. She's family. Like... <laughs> Does anyone think that's unrealistic? Hollywood, I'm just giving you ideas. Just send me my, my royalty check. That said, film is a B. I'm not going to go out of my way to rewatch it. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was fine. Uh, the worst part about the experience wasn't even, like, the film itself. It was all the... F- mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to real quick. Just a real quick thing, right? How do I say this? If your child is crying in a movie theater, please tend to that poor child, okay? They need food, give them food. They need water, give them water. They need hugs, give them hugs. But tend to your child. Don't let them cry and scream in the middle of a movie theater and pretend like nothing's happening. At the very least, fucking react. And I don't say that lightly. I have a very high tolerance for bullshit. But I I can't remember ever being in a movie theater and there being so many children crying and screaming that they want to go home. Maybe it was because these parents took their kids to a 10 fucking p.m. showing. Be better. I'm going off topic. Please like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. We're always trying to grow this channel. I imagine I may have lost some of you here. I'm sorry. Much like this film, I'm all over the fucking place. By the way, I give this one a B. Yeah, I give this one a B. Uh, I've been Eddie, and this was the rollback. I'll see everybody.